Trudeau's arrive scam making the headlines today, guys. The RCMP, <laughs> whatever they do these days, not much, but they did raid the arrive scam contractor, the big contractor. And uh, here we go. And uh, Christian Faith was also being questioned in Parliament under oath. I will take it then that we will move on to the next series of questions. The Honourable Member from Leeds, Grenville, Thousand Islands and Rideau Lakes. Speaker, the Arrive Can was supposed to cost taxpayers $80,000, but the NDP Liberal government rewarded consultants and insiders who got rich on taxpayer dollars for an app that nobody wanted. The app erroneously forced more than 10,000 people under house arrest. It didn't work, and the Auditor General said it cost at least $60 million. Arrive Can is now under 13 federal investigations. Two middlemen that do no IT work got rich in a corrupt system under this NDP Liberal government. Some, including the witness today, became multimillionaires. GC Strategies. Yeah, that's right. Christian Firth at GC Strategies, guys. Um, he's being questioned, and he apparently refused refused to answer some questions and uh, so that got him um, in contempt a little bit. She's is a two-person company and they claim to find people who actually do the work by using LinkedIn. Nearly 20 million dollars for ArriveCan is what they were paid and roughly $2,500 per hour. They've been paid $100 million since forming GC Strategies just after this Liberal Prime Minister was elected. This is eight years of this Liberal Prime Minister. The Liberal government has been ordered to collect and recoup all funds paid to ArriveCan Arrive contractors and subcontractors that did no work on the ArriveCan app. My question, Speaker, has the government asked Mr. Firth to repay the money paid to GC Strategies on ArriveCan? Mr. Firth. Mr. Speaker, no, they have not. The Honourable Member from Leeds, Grenville, Thousand Islands and Rio Lakes. The procurement watchdog found numerous examples where GC Strategies, quote, had simply copied and pasted, end quote, information to prove the people GC Strategies found to do work on ArriveCan actually did it. Question, has the government asked GC Strategies to repay the money paid to GC Strategies for ArriveCan? Mr. Firth. Mr. Speaker, the numbers that were provided by the Obundsman from, from Public Works, uh, we found were inaccurate when we did our assessments. Uh, and secondly, we have not been asked to, to pay any money back. The Honourable Member from Leeds, Grenville, Thousand Islands and Rita Lakes. For how many contracts did GC Strategies copy and paste the exact same information? Mr. Firth. Mr. Speaker, we've, for, we've never copied and pasted to win any contract. The Honourable Member from Leeds, Grenville, Thousand Islands and Rita Lakes. Speaker, we know from committee testimony that Mr. Firth has admitted to doing exactly that. Today, media reports that Mr. Firth's property was raided by the Royal Canadian Mounted Police. Uh, what crime are they investigating? Mr. Firth. Uh, Mr. Speaker, we... That's correct. There was a search warrant, not an arrest warrant, for my property um, to obtain electronic goods surrounding the Butler allegations. The Honourable Member from Leeds, Grenville, Thousand Islands and Rideau Lakes. The Royal Canadian Mounted Police have also confirmed that GC Strategies uh, and uh, ArriveCan uh, are under police investigation. Uh, has the RCMP contacted Mr. Firth about those allegations related specifically to this Prime Minister's $60 million Arrive scam? Mr. Firth. Mr. Speaker, the RCMP has only reached out to us regarding Butler. The Honourable Member from Leeds, Grenville, Thousand Islands and Rideau Lakes. In the search of Mr. Firth's home, did the RCMP take only electronic devices or were there uh, documents, uh, cell phones or any other information? Mr. Firth. Mr. Speaker, I, I wasn't at my premises when the search was being taken, so I cannot comment on that. I don't have that information. The Honourable Member from Leeds, Grenville, Thousand Islands and Rideau Lakes. Does Mr. Firth know if the property of his partner Darren Anthony has been searched by the RCMP? Mr. Firth. Uh, Mr. Speaker, as of this morning, I had not. The Honourable Member from Leeds, Grenville, Thousand Islands and Rideau Lakes.
GC Strategies is two guys in a basement taking 30% commissions on multi-million dollar contracts that they had no value to, but have endorsements from senior NDP Liberal government officials. On the endorsements, question, who was the Government of Canada Chief Information Officer who offered a quote? Mr. Firth. Sorry. What? What is going on? Is this true? Mr. Firth, you need time to consult with your counsel. Yes, please. The clock is stopped. Let's see what's going on here. Sorry. Question. Who was the Government of Canada Chief Information Officer who offered a quote? Who offered the quote? Mr. Firth. And then they mute us, so we can't hear what they're whispering. On the endorsements, question. Who was the Government of Canada Chief Information Officer who offered a quote? Mr. Firth. He said you're allowed to something. Mr. Firth, you need time to consult with your counsel. Oopsies. Mr. Firth, you need time to consult with your counsel. Yes, please. The clock has stopped. Mr. Firth? The clock is still stopped. Could you please repeat the question of the Honorable Member from Leeds, Grenville, Thousand Island, and Rideau Lakes? Speaker, GC Strategies is two guys in a basement taking 30% commissions on multi-million dollar contracts that they had no value to, but have endorsements from senior NDP Liberal government officials. On Point of order to the Honourable Member from New Westminster, Burnaby is rising on his feet. Yeah, th thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. I, I would appreciate the official opposition to approach this with some dignity. There is no NDP Liberal government. So I would expect that he would ask his questions in the appropriate form, please, through you, Mr. Speaker. I thank the Honourable Member from uh, New Westminster, Burnaby. Uh, and, and indeed, that is the uh, a case. I will ask the Honourable Member if he could just reframe his question. It's a person question uh, as it is. The Honourable Member from Leeds Grenville, Thousand Island, Rideau Lakes. This company has done no work on the multi-million dollar contracts that they've been given by this Liberal government supported by the NDP. On the endorsements on their website, who was the Government of Canada Chief Information Officer who provided an endorsement? Mr. Firth. Uh, Mr. Speaker, we gave that information over, and the name was Paul Girard. The Honourable Member from Leeds, Grenville, Thousand Islands, and Middle Lakes. Are all of the subcontractors that GC Strategies, Strategies uses Canadian companies? Mr. Firth. Can you write it down? Mr. Speaker, um, can I get clarification? Is that period or during the Arrive Can application? The Honourable Member from Leeds, Grenville, Thousand Islands, and Rita Lakes. Subcontractors used on Government of Canada contracts. Mr. Firth? Um, every company that we represent and we work with uh, for government contracts have valid Canadian security clearances. The Honourable Member from Leeds, Grenville, Thousand Islands, and Rita Lakes. Speaker, not an answer to the question that I asked. Does Mr. Firth have any knowledge or involvement in the reviews for the Arrive Can app on either the Apple Store or the Google Play Store being artificially amplified or paid for? Any knowledge at all? Mr. Firth. Mr. Speaker, I, I know those services exist, but I have no knowledge whether or not they are executed. The Honourable Member from Leeds, Grenville, Thousand Island, and Rita Lakes. Bring up my time to the member for Carlton Trail, Eagle Creek, please. The Honourable Member from Carlton Trail, Eagle Creek, has... What? Holy crap. I now ask the Sergeant at Arms to admit Mr. Firth at the bar of the House. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Who is that? What is going on here? This is how it all started. Sir? Hello. Mr. Christian Firth. 
Please remain standing until I invite you to be seated. You are attending the bar of the house for being found in contempt for your refusal to answer certain questions and for prevaricating in your answers to other questions before the Standing Committee on Government Operations and Estimates. You are here today by order of this House for the following purposes. First, to receive an admonishment for your refusal to respond to questions posed to you by the Committee. Second, to provide responses to the questions referred to in the Committee's 17th report. And third, to respond to supplemental questions. The privileges of the House of Commons are enshrined in the Constitution Act 1867 and the Parliament of Canada Act. This includes the right to institute inquiries and to require the attendance of witnesses. Under the standing orders of this House, they are also exercised by its committees within their respective mandates. These privileges enjoyed by the House collectively and by members individually are essential in the discharge of our duties. The House has a power and indeed the obligation to reaffirm them when obstruction or interference impedes the House's proceedings and the ability of members to carry out their parliamentary duties. That is precisely what the House has ordered the Speaker as a guardian of these rights and privileges to do today. To reprimand you, to reprimand your contempt for refusing to answer questions put to you by the committee and prevaricating other questions. For all these reasons, on behalf of the House of Commons, I admonish you. In addition, the House orders you to respond to the questions you refuse to answer in committee, in whole or in part, and to respond to any supplementary questions. Monsieur Christian Firth. Mr. Firth. Yeah, anyways. You. So that's how it, it all started, having him in the House of Parliament, which is definitely new to me. All right, well, we'll leave it at that, guys. I did the story just earlier from CBC on the whole thing, and now you've seen it, the questions in Parliament. Ernie Racing, make sure to like and share this thing to break that bullshit algorithm of YouTube, CensorTube. Yep. See you guys. Say goodbye. Bye.